connective tissues connect and help hold our body together the cells of connective tissue are loosely spaced and embedded in an intercellular matrix the matrix may be jelly like fluid dense or rigid the nature of matrix differs in concordance with the function of the particular connective tissue the connective tissue can be found everywhere in the body Aerular tissue. It is a loose connective tissue that can be seen between the skin and muscles, in the bone marrow as well as around the blood vessels and nerves. The aerular tissue fills the spaces between the different organs and connects the skin to the underlying muscles, and therefore it provides support to the internal organs as well as help in the repair of tissues. adipose tissue fat storing adipose tissue is found below the skin and between internal organs the cells of this tissue are filled with fat globules storage of fats also lets it acts as an insulator compact bone bone is another example of a connective tissue it forms the framework that supports the body It also anchors the muscles and supports the main organs of the body. It is a strong and non-flexible tissue. Hyaline cartilage. It is another type of connective tissue. It has widely spaced cells. The solid matrix is composed of proteins and sugars. Cartilage smoothens bone surfaces at joints and is also present in the nose, ear, trachea and larynx. blood cells blood is a fluid connective tissue it consists of a liquid matrix called the plasma in which the blood cells are present blood has a fluid that is liquid matrix called plasma in which red blood cells that is rbcs white blood cells that is wbcs and platelets are suspended the plasma contains proteins salts and hormones blood flows and transports gases digested food hormones and waste materials to different parts of the body